Hey everyone, I'm Xavier Manzanares. I'm the lead producer of Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. And I'm Davide Soliani, creative director. We're super excited to show today uh, the co-op mode um, that will push the player into new strategies and tactics. So the co-op campaigns can be accessed through the Buddy Dome in the Peach Castle, one of the several rabbitatories created by the rabbits throughout the game. We wanted to challenge the player in a series of battles. Each of these co-op challenges have different objectives, whether you have to reach areas, defeat a specific number of enemies, or escort Todd into death. So let's try this one. Of course we have different levels of difficulty, depending on your progression in the game and the power level of your characters. So these co-op battles are for two players. Each player selects a team of two characters as they will have to work together to complete the objectives of the battle. This should open up new synergy and strategies for the player. Plus, the fact that you will have to communicate with your partner on the choice you make. Let's see, for this map I will choose Luigi for his great weapon range and Rabbit Mario as he can tank as he's extremely powerful with his melee weapon. Besides, he's also my personal favorite character. I will select Peach as her protect technique will come in handy to reduce damages on Todd and Todd. And I'll complete Xavier team with some support by choosing Rabbit's Peach healing technique. So for the sake of this video, we already prepared a team uh, with some options for this escort mission. We choose weapon not only based on their damage output, but also based on the super effect they can trigger. For example, we may not want to choose a weapon with a burn super effect, as it may bring too much chaos for the escort objective and generate a risk of damaging Todd and Todd. Instead, I choose a weapon with a freed super effect for Peach. Also, make sure you unlock the secondary weapon as soon as you can, as it provides new tactical advantages depending on the situation. For example, for Rabbit's Peach we can have a sentry which explodes near the enemies with an area of effect and potentially trigger honey damage to reduce enemies' mobility. Then you also want to make sure you have all the upgrades you want in your character skill tree. For example, I improve Rabbit Mario's Magnet Dance by reducing its cooldown and extending its area of effect. We'll see what it does during the battle. So back to the battle where our team of heroes has to escort Todd and Todette in the blue and yellow zone. Let's take a look at the map before the fight. So we can see a couple of Oni covers on the left and a couple of bounce covers on the right. So there are many strategies here, and let's see what we could do. We could split the team into two, or we could pick a side and regroup all of our characters to clear the path. In any case, we have to protect Toad and Toadette from the enemies and heal them in case they take too much damage. So better to leave them behind full covers. Oh, that's for sure. And if you could move Luigi on the rich area thanks to his double team jump and get mm. rid of the enemies, you could have a good vantage point with his precision gun. So I'll move Luigi to cover and get rid of this supporter. Yeah. And I could get rid of the other smasher. Sure. <laughs> so I'm handing over the lead to Davide. And we can basically do this at any time until we perform all of our actions in our turn, in any order we want. And I'll move Peach to cover here. But before shooting to the smasher, I'll activate her Royal Gaze technique. A smasher charge you if you eat them during your turn. This will allow me to take him down before he gets too close and hit me. I'll use a similar tactic here. Um, I'll activate Luigi's Steely Stare, which works the same than Peach's Royal Gaze. Then move Rabbit Mario, shoot the Smasher, and let Luigi react to finish him off. So I'll now move Toad behind the full cover. Yeah! And I'll do the same with Toadette. Then I'll team jump on Peach with Rabbit's Peach to get behind the cover and shoot to the Ziggy to clean the vantage point. You can keep the sentry to counter Ziggy's react. Absolutely, that's the idea. So we'll now skip to the enemy top.
So, many Ziggis are ready to shoot us with their React. Let's use Rabbit Speech Sentry to lure them and eliminate the one behind the Onicover. We should clear a path through the honey covers and focus our efforts there. That's one way to do it. So I can dash the Ziggy and place Rabbit Speech here. So maybe you can use her later to team jump. Mm. I'll move to that here behind the full cover. So, first I'll send Luigi on the vantage point by using his double team jump as planned. Then I can shoot the Ziggy, but with my sentry, I could even get both. Now with Rabbit Mario, I can jump over Rabbit Peach and one-shot the supporter with the hammer. I'll finish my actions by placing Todd at cover next to Toadette. I can now use Peach Healing Team Jump by jumping on Rabbit Mario and reach almost everybody. So I can finish off this Ziggy here. And that will be the end of our turn. Yeah, and there's only one Ziggy remaining in the bottom left, I believe. So let's move Luigi here so I can have a clear line of sight to the incoming Smashers. And, and I forgot the Ziggy's reaction shot. Okay, I'll take the pipe with Rabbit Mario. Dash the Ziggy on the way and destroy him with the boom shot. <laughs> That's a bit over, I know. <laughs> so the area is clear. I can now move Toad. So I can now move to that as well. Then use Rabbit's Peach to team jump over Rabbit's Mario and join Luigi. And same with Peach, so the healing team jump will replenish Luigi's life. Yeah, it's quite powerful. So now I'll be able to shoot the Smasher. I'm in a good position to use the Ichi Feet technique at the beginning of the next turn. So, I don't have a clear line of sight with Peach. Mm. I'll have to use her Granamax oh. instead. New Smashers are chasing us, and four more enemies are ready to spawn. Time to activate Luigi's itchy feet and boost everyone's movement range. Let's go! Then I start to deal with the Smasher on top with Luigi's sentry. And as Todd can now reach the pipe, let's put him at cover here. Before moving to that, I'll first send a sentry towards this Smasher, so they may be honing. Then I dash the Smasher and get within range to use her healing techniques, just in case. And I left to that to join Todd. So turn into that, here are exposed to the incoming wave of enemy. I believe it's time to use the protect technique with Peach. For even more safety, I can move Rabbit Mario here and activate his shield. 
Which I should have done before. You activated your protect yeah. technique. As everybody is in good shape, I will keep our bit speech heal for the next turn. Mm, so we just need to keep Toad and Toadette from any harm this turn, and we win. So first, uh, I'm going to activate Luigi's Steely Stare. Now I'll move Rabbit Mario here and dash the Smasher on the way. And activate Magnet Dance, which will attract all the nearby enemies and force them to move towards Rabbit Mario. Now I can use his hammer to hit them with the Aria effect. It's a bit short for Todd, and Luigi's Itchy Feet technique is still on cooldown. Let's place him here for now. And as I don't have really a good clear line of sight with uh, Luigi, I'll need to move him here so we can shoot the Smasher. And now I'll get to that closer too. Mm. Let's place Peach there and activate her Royal Gaze. She should be able to stop the enemies that will spawn without risking to hurt her allies with the her boom shot. No need to move Rabbit's Peach. I'll use her elite techniques, just in case. So that's it, we just have to move uh, Toad and Toadette in their respective zones and... Um, that will complete the map. Exactly. So we hope you had a good glimpse of what co-op is all about. Uh, it's a mix between action, techniques, doing combos with four heroes and two players. Thanks, Xavier. Thanks a lot, Xavier. And uh, we can't wait to see what you guys will think of in terms of combo and setups. See you there. Thank you.